Last week I had two 70 year olds at our camp and both of them were doing a nice job drilling and showing improvement but they just didn't have the timing down very good. We started to use the boom as we always do, the buzz, your wind, your coiling and your bringing the hands back as you stride and the boom is done explosively that snaps the hips, wrists and shoulders all together in one motion. Your first swings here show several falls. Flaws. First of all, your knob is facing down and your hands come down following it. Then they try to come back up to the ball. You have a real loop in the swing, very common flaw. Uh, you have a nice stride, good weight transfer and rotation, but the lead arm doesn't extend. The extension of that lead arm and the guiding of that knob on a level plane to maybe slightly up is what you really need to work on. There's a tire, especially on higher pitches, you just get jammed on it. Uh, and so we had to really work on getting that timing of the ba and the boom down. The boom, making sure that we can get that to really explode so the hips, shoulders, and wrists all snap together. Uh, you keep riding over a lot of the balls because you're swinging up too much. Here we try to get that lead arm extension to throw in the frisbee, that extension out that allow us to get a proper track of the lag and snap. Stretching out nicely here, getting a good diagonal torque drill. And again, getting on a more level plane, getting the top arm extension with the throw and drill, tying in the snap of the hips with it. Really like working with that slam ball. And even though you and Ken were 70 years old, you did a nice job. You're really exploding that ball in a more level plane again. Uh, perfect snap drill you did fine, except for I could see a flaw right here. Watch when you finish up, your lead arm stops extending and following around and the wrist just turn. You want to make sure you continue that shoulder rotation the whole time and snap within that rotation, something to clean up. Look at here, there's a, just a lot of flaws in that. The hands go down, they don't extend, they don't come up. We worked on that swing simulator to watch the lead arm extend out now. See how much farther that extends out and how your snap is on a, a straight plane with the rope. Nice job. Again, going back here, you need to continue to extend the lead arm and rotate as you snap. Knob's coming down here, planes out. But you're starting to get a better snap on it anyway, improved over where it was. Watch my hand path, it's straight. And when my lead knob gets to a certain point, then suddenly that knob is going to crank down into the inside. That allows the bat to flip in the opposite direction. It's really hard to, to really develop that. Uh, off the tee, you continue to improve, but where you really showed big improvement was off the brace leg drill. That's just a phenomenal drill for guys with uppercut. Watch your hand path. You get more extension following the rotation. Stays on a little bit more level plane. And the, and the wrist really cranked to the inside, the lead wrist. And the bat flips over, does a nice job cutting the ball. Uh, that's getting right to the bare minimum of uh, being level. Uh, Want to level it off just a little bit more, but phenomenal. On the swings here, the afterwards, you can see that you really had a better snap. Uh, it was a remarkable improvement that you made. Again, you can see even though it's a lower pitch and you maybe bring the knob up too much with still a little bit shortening of that lead arm extension, but still you get a really good snap through on it and picked up a 10 miles an hour exit speed increase, which roughly relates to 40 feet and one of the balls you hit at the end was just a bomb. I try to get that knob and that bat plane a little bit flatter and then start working on higher pitches, but you know, hitting a low pitch like that's a tough job to do and you did a great job on it. You got to look at how that the wrist snap through and using that term boom to tie everything together. If we can get a higher pitch like I'm doing here, I think you've got the uh, a lot more success down the road for yourself. But for now, you know, you hit the lower pitch is good, just gonna work on rotation, extension, and snap, and this brace leg drill to get that uh, snap on the higher pitches. Awesome job. Five. Oh, nice. What was it? 68. 69. The timing of the ba boom is. What are you saying? Hey. Look at that. Hey, stay right there a second. Turn tell the camera. That, that's, stay right there, stay right there. Turn tell the camera what, what you did different there. That's absolutely remarkable. I uh, made everything the right time. And the ba boom helped? Yeah. Didn't change the angle or anything else, yeah. just, just, yeah, just get the uh, timing down. Tactic. Same thing with Ken, you're the, you're the same way. Said the ba-boom, all of a sudden it ties everything together. You know, it sounds silly, but that's why shot putters and discus players hit the uh, because it explodes everything at the same time. Yeah. Beautiful, absolutely awesome. At the same camp I had Ken, who consistently was uh, very low on his exit speeds. He looked good in the drilling, but he just couldn't time it all together with 
uh, you know, the timing. So we got them easy on the butt and then exploding the boom. Made a huge difference. He increased 11 miles per hour in the exit speed. Tremendous job, Ken. Wow. Boom. Yeah, that's really turning it on for you. Wow. Beautiful. Wow. Look at that. Good one to quit on. Beautiful. Yeah, hey. Hey, stand there once. <laughs> for you more than anybody, Ken, you suddenly got power in line drive power. What made the difference for you? It was the boom part of the snap and the follow through. I don't think I was following through before, but now I'm bringing the bat all the way around more, or at least more. With the boom before, you were just kind of ba boom. But both you and uh, a stand both, it just triggers the boom, triggers everything to snap at the same time, it does. doesn't it? That's going to be my key point to remember. Phenomenal, man. Thank you.